There's snakes here. These are the stuff I do for vlogs, huh? Blueberry. Good morning guys. Today is April 20, Saturday. It's going to be a really exciting weekend because me and my mom are going to see the Super Bloom flowers at Carrizo National Monument. Or it's basically a park and because it's April, it's Super Bloom time. The flowers are going to be so, so pretty and I'm so excited to see them because it's very seasonal, right? So you only can see them during the springtime. We're going to go to see the flowers tonight and then tomorrow we're actually going to be taking blue berries wow so i'm really excited for this weekend we're currently just waiting for the rest of the people to join us on the mini bus and then we're gonna head up that's the little bus that we're gonna be on we drove for like an hour 30 minutes and we're just stopping at a gas station we're just having a restroom break and then grabbing lunch it's got some taco bell right here and then we're gonna be back on the road soon Wow, we finally made it into the Carrizo Plain National Monument in San Luis Obispo County. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're just stopping to see some like yellow flowers. These are the flowers. <laughs> So this is our second stop and apparently the tour guide's like, oh, you'll see purple flowers here. Where's the purple flowers? <laughs> she says you have to go deeper, but how deep are you talking about? Another thing she told us to be careful about is that there's snakes here. So she says, make sure you look down before you sit on the flowers to take pictures. But she did say the snakes don't usually come out until dusk. So it's pretty hot right now in the afternoon. Okay, there's a little purple flower. So everyone's over there taking pictures so let's check over there maybe there's more purple flowers so pretty so we were driving and we passed this dude over here and one of the guests were like hey why don't you bring us here the flowers here are much more abundant and much more full than the other places that you guys stopped and so because of that we're stopping here to see some very pretty yellow flowers man it is hot right now <sighs> having a good time so far mom oh uh, yeah do you feel more relaxed yeah oh my god look at my shoes it's all yellow so i think this is the last stop for the carrizo national plains and then i think we'll be heading out but we're gonna go to the top of the mountain we're gonna walk up the hill go to the top right there and get a good view I don't know if you can see, but do you see all that white stuff over there in the lake? That's salt. They just dropped us closer to Soda Lake and basically they said that the salt near the lake is going to be very slippery. So we're just going to make a loop around the lake to see the salt. So I'm so excited to show you guys. God, I didn't think that it was gonna be squishy in the mud. Wow, so dirty. Mommy, what do you think of the Soda Lake? Oh, it's so beautiful and quiet. Mm -hmm. There's a little breeze, so it's not as hot, but it's still pretty, pretty hot. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Basically, the tour guide said we're stopping here to take pictures of the colorful scenery on the mountains. <laughs> so here they said there was an earthquake. This is the crack, which is the result from the earthquake. 
It is dinner time. They dropped us off at a Chinese buffet. Yeah, sorry, I'm a little bit out of it because I took a nap during the bus. But yeah, it's a Chinese buffet. All you can eat. For two people, $50. Mommy, what do you think of this buffet? <laughs> That's okay. After dinner, we're gonna head to the hotel Holiday Inn. So yeah, we should be going there shortly. guys we just checked into our room just got settled down we had dinner we're just going to shower chill and then sleep basically the plan for tomorrow is come down to the hotel lobby after 6 a.m because there's free breakfast and then we have to board the bus by 8 30 a.m i believe the plan for tomorrow is we're gonna go to wind wolf valley and then we're also going to take blueberries too so I'm really excited. I'll see you guys tomorrow then. Well, good morning everyone. Today is the second day. We're just gonna head down for breakfast real quick and then start off our journey. Let's go get breakfast. We made it into Wind Wolf Valley. So I guess we're gonna climb up a little bit. They're gonna take us to go see the waterfall. They said it's gonna be around 45 minutes one way to see the waterfall. I am not athletic. It's so hard. But I really want to see the waterfall. Made it to the semi-top. Okay, so from now up, it's gonna be a solo track of me to the waterfall because uh, my mom cannot do it anymore. Her health cannot withstand the heat and the altitude. So hopefully I can make it in time to the waterfall. Okay, well, oops, I asked someone if they saw the waterfall when they were coming down. They were like, no, this isn't the waterfall trail. So, okay, well, I'm just gonna stop at this second midpoint right here. Oh my God, a ladybug landed on me. Anyways, regardless, I'm still very proud of myself because that's where the parking lot is. And I walked all the way from there. All right. Let's head back down because I'm by myself and I think I'm the last in my group So I don't want to be alone and lost. Wow going downhill is so 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 much easier and the breeze So nice. These are the stuff I do for vlogs, huh? I usually hate hiking But here I am hiking because I want to show a really nice view for you guys. So subscribe! Lo, the cows are just staring at me. <laughs> we finally made it into Jerry's Ranch to pick blueberries. It's $18 for one bucket. You just start over there to pick. They don't allow you to bring uh, like personal bags and backpacks because I think they're afraid people will try to smuggle it. But yeah, you can eat and pick as you go. Let's go pick some blueberries. Wow, look at all the blueberry bushes. We only want the big fat juicy one. Blueberry. So they said technically you can eat it as you're picking but to me <laughs> I think it's a little bit too dirty because you know you can see the dirt and the stuff on the berries yeah I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna put in the bucket and then wash it when I go back home
Wow, I found another ladybug. I'm so lucky. I see so many ladybugs today. So we've decided to only get a half bucket because it's actually a lot of picking. A lot of blueberries. We can package the blueberries in the small boxes over here. I misspoke. I guess our bucket was only a third. And because it was only a third, we only paid $6 instead of the half price, which is $9. But I just split it with my mom so I can take this home. Anyways, yeah, this is the last stop and destination of this weekend trip. I think out of yesterday and today, hmm, which place did I like the best? Yesterday, we went to see the Carrizo National Plains Monument where we saw the flowers. I did think that there weren't a lot of flowers, so there were some flowers, but I do think what the company portrayed or the pictures that they sent before the trip was kind of misleading, but it was so fine. Yeah, there were some patchy spots that did have a lot of flowers. And then today, yeah, we went to the Wind Wolf Preserve. The hike was just too high, too long. I mean, I'm not a hiker girl, so eh. And then the blueberry picking, it was fine. I mean, you can only do it for like really 30 minutes. It's hot and sunny and you know, like we only get how much you want. So it was fine. The experience is cool, you know, just seeing the blueberry bushes and everything. But yeah, I think I like the Carrizo Plain National Park the best out of all the things we did in this weekend trip. We're gonna go back to LA soon. See you. Bye. Let's give the blueberries a try, okay? Just wash them. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm, very sweet, very juicy, very healthy and delicious. Wow, tastes very, very good. Thanks, Jerry Ranch. That was such a good blueberry. Mm-mm-mm.